What is going on everybody? Welcome back, MTG here with another episode. If you're new to the channel, hi there. This is Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and this is Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4. And I wanna talk about the differences and kind of go over which device is for who. So without further delay, let's dive right in. Okay, so Galaxy S23 Ultra and Z Flip 4, very different devices from the same company. And I'm just gonna dive right into the differences. Galaxy S23 Ultra is more expensive than the Z Flip 4, $1199 starting versus $999 starting. If you remember the Z Flip uh, series used to start around like $1400, $1500, but Samsung has dropped that down to $999. Good job on that part. Now, the Galaxy S23 Ultra, it also offers better drop protection and scratch resistance with Gorilla Glass Victus 2. For Z Flip 4, when it's unfolded, the Z Flip 4 is slightly taller, but not as wide as the S23 Ultra, and obviously it's not as heavy. Looking at displays, the Galaxy S23 Ultra has a 6.8 inch Quad HD, 120 Hertz adaptive AMOLED display. And for the Z Flip 4, we get a 6.7 inch AMOLED at 120 Hertz. Now using both devices as my main device, uh, they are great displays. I gotta tell you that they are great displays, uh, mainly because they're from Samsung. However, S23 Ultra definitely pulls out the better display, great, better quality. Uh, but if you were to use either one, you can't go wrong. Just for the purpose of comparis comparing each, uh, S23 Ultra comes out on top. Now, let's flip over to the back. Continuing with the differences, S23 Ultra has a quad camera system with a new primary shooter, which is 200 megapixels, and I gotta say, it's really good. It offers better image quality and versatility than the Z Flip 4. We're getting dual cameras, so we're getting a wide and an ultra wide, but it's just not as versatile and it doesn't have the greatest quality like that of the S23 Ultra. I hope Samsung uh, this year and years forward puts better cameras and flagship grade cameras in their foldables because it looks like foldables are going to be here to stay for uh, for a pretty long time. So you might as well put some much better quality cameras that you put in your flagship devices already. Now, the Galaxy S23 Ultra, the base model starts at 256 gigs. It has more storage than the base model of the Z Flip 428. So do keep that in mind uh, if you're taking a look at both of these devices. The Ultra, it also comes with a one terabyte storage option and it's not available on the Flip. It is on the fold, but not on the flip. Do keep that in mind. Also, higher end variants of the S23 Ultra, they have more RAM, 12 gigs precisely. I have right here 512 gigs of storage and 12 gigs of RAM. And the Z Flip 4 just comes with eight gigs of RAM with all storage options. Now you're gonna ask, is that a huge deal breaker? Uh, no, it's not. They both work fine from day to day, but when it comes to more uh, heavy tasks and using a bunch of applications at the same time, then you'll start to notice uh, more RAM is more efficient and better for you if you're using that. Just for everyday use though, it's not gonna be too much of an issue. Now with the Galaxy S23 Ultra, we're getting the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 made for Galaxy versus the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 on the Galaxy Z Flip 4. Now day-to-day -day use, I can tell you that they both perform really good because I've used the Z Flip 4 as my main device when it first did come out. Uh, but I gotta say, like the efficiency with the 8 Gen 2 on the Galaxy S23 Ultra has been very good. Uh, and if you wanna put it into tests and whatnot, yes, the 8 Gen 2 made for Galaxy is going to perform better than the 8 Plus Gen 1. But if you do pick up the Z Flip 4 or any other device with the 8 Plus Gen 1 uh, in 2023, you're still gonna, perf you're still going to get a great device just because it's uh, at this point at the time of this recording in a couple months into 2023 uh, you're getting a 2022 flagship processor 
doesn't mean like you're outdated. It just means there's going to be a newer one that comes out every single year. That's just how it works. It's not a huge deal breaker. Again, many of the stuff uh, with the improvements that are going from year over year, they're not huge deal breakers and it's not like you're missing out on too much. Yes, it makes the experience better, but is it a huge deal breaker? No, it's not. Now, battery life. This is one of the deal breakers for me when comparing these two devices. Yes, you're getting a better battery capacity on the S23 Ultra, 5,000 milliamp hours versus 3,700 on the Z Flip 4, but just better battery life in general, as well as better uh, and faster wire charging and wireless charging. But battery life for me, it's a deal breaker. I'm a heavy phone user and I use my phone a lot and I've been using the S23 Ultra since its release. And I gotta say, uh, Samsung has worked well with the software and with the chip optimization because this has been learning my usage really well and battery life has been even better than it was when I first got the device. That is really good. Now, I'm pushing eight to nine hours of screen on time and I'm still, I still have like 20% of battery life. That's crazy. That is super good. Like seriously, good job Samsung on the battery life with the S23 Ultra, keep it up. Now Z Flip 4, I had a better battery life than its predecessor Z Flip 3, and I use this as my daily, but I gotta tell you, I had to charge it twice a day. And for me, especially when I'm comparing it to the S23 Ultra, it's just something I gotta flip, fold, and put aside because again, it's a deal breaker for me. And if that's a deal breaker for you, then you already know you're going to choose the S23 Ultra over the Galaxy S23. 23. Now look, I test phones all the time and I used this as my main Android device. That brings me to the question, who are these devices for? Heavy phone user and someone who likes to use their phone for productivity and really everything, S23 Ultra no doubt is for you. If you use your phone for camera, S23 Ultra is for you. You want a phone with really good battery, again, S23 Ultra is going to be for you. You like that larger display that's not thin and doesn't fold, then S23 Ultra is for you. However, if you're looking for a great form factor like this, if you are a light phone user and you don't need to worry about battery life and you're just using your phone to call friends and family here and there, watch a couple of YouTube videos like this one, uh, or, you know, send some emails, then Z Flip 4 is going to be that device for you. It's making compromises uh, when compared to the S23 in areas um, that some may not use, like the camera, like the battery life, uh, just like the experience, overall experience in general. But I, I see this more as a kind of unique device because the form factor here, the fact that it folds, uh, it's easier to carry, uh, that's one of the reasons why I also liked it. It was just easier to carry. I mean, you got a huge slab of glass like this right here, the S23 Ultra in your pocket versus uh, the Z Flip 4, which just folds. So it really does come down to you ultimately and which device you will choose. Which device am I going to choose? I'm going to choose the S23 Ultra and the main reason is going to be the battery life. And I think moving forward, uh, since I'm testing phones all the time, S23 Ultra is probably going to be in my pocket for uh, most of the year. Obviously, the year is still at the beginning. We're in March as of this recording. Uh, but the battery life, it's what sets the bar for me. So we're going to see. We're going to see what other devices, if their battery life can surpass the S23 Ultra. But if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to zoom in the like button, comment down below. Also, be sure to check out my latest wallpaper pack. It's called Nebula, my absolute favorite wallpaper pack by far, and I'm continuing to work on more. So be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, if you want to check out more wallpapers. And thank you all so much for supporting the channel. That's been it for me, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.